You know, you can go into the grocery store and buy 1% milk, 2%, 3%, or full fat milk. However, there is uh, also a relatively new kit on the block, and that is ultra filtered milk. Fairlife is the most uh, popular brand, and it is indeed very interesting because it contains about 50% more protein, 50% less sugar, it contains virtually no lactose, and it has more calcium than regular milk. So who does this uh, milk cater to? Well, people who are health conscious and want somewhat more protein in their diet, or who uh, are lactose intolerant, and uh, need a milk that is free of lactose, and also you know people who just want less sugar in their diet. You also have to be somewhat more affluent because the milk is uh, considerably more expensive than regular milk. So what is this process, this ultrafiltration that makes all of this possible? So here's the process. Take regular milk, separate out the fat, leaving skim milk behind, and then the skim milk is passed through a filter. Now this filter has very, very small holes in it. So small you couldn't see them with the naked eye. They are in the nanometer range, that's 10 to the minus nine meters. And uh, there are many different materials, uh, polysulfone, uh, cellulose acetate. Anyway, so the milk is passed through and the holes are uh, so small that uh, water goes right through Lactose, the milk sugar can uh, pass through, but proteins do not. And calcium, which in milk is um, uh, in uh, proteins, it's, it's sort of uh, compounded with proteins, the casein proteins, uh, that makes it large and that doesn't pass through either. So the milk is richer in, uh, in calcium. And uh, after the filtration process, the retentate, as it is called, has fat added back to it, and you can make 2% milk or whatever percent uh, fat you want. After that, the milk is uh, pasteurized, uh, usually using uh, very high temperature for a very short period of time. Uh, that will get rid of all the microbes in there. That also makes the milk last longer. And uh, then it is homogenized to give it a nice smooth consistency. And presto, you have ultra-filtered milk. Not without controversy. There are critics who say that this is uh, Franken milk, as they refer to it, because they say that the constituents of the milk have been altered and it really should not be called milk, it should be called some sort of food product. Well, yes, uh, the constituents have been altered, but uh, I think beneficially for people who want more protein and who want uh, less sugar. The uh, composition of the milk, uh, otherwise, is, is, is perfectly fine. The calorie content is the same because the reduced sugar content is compensated for by the increased uh, protein content. There have also been some critics who say that um, the milk, at least in the US, was sourced from farms where the animals are not treated properly. There were lawsuits back and forth. Coca-Cola is the company that produces uh, Fairlife milk. And uh, there was some sort of legal case and a settlement and they had promised to scrutinize the farms from where they sourced their milk uh, much, uh, uh, much better. In any case, and in Canada, this is uh, not a, a story that has emerged because the, uh, the farms from where the uh, Fairlife milk is, uh, is sourced are, are all uh, ethically uh, run farms. Anyway, I wanted to uh, try this milk, but I couldn't find it in the uh, grocery store here. But uh, we do have ultra-filtered milk here as well. It is uh, somewhat differently uh, processed. Uh, I guess they use a different uh, filter and uh, it doesn't uh, remove all of the lactose, but the lactose is subsequently removed by adding lactase, uh, an enzyme that breaks it down into uh, glucose and galactose. But uh, the glucose and galactose stay behind, so the sugar content of this milk is the same as regular milk. It's about um, uh, 12 grams per uh, serving but the protein content is higher and uh, it is also uh, lactose free. 
Uh, I have never tried this uh, milk before, um, but I decided to give it a try. I like to do firsts on these little videos. So here we go. I'm going to try this uh, ultra-filtered uh, milk. It's supposed to taste creamier uh, for some reason. Hmm. Tastes just like milk. And that today is our cup of joe. But you know, I don't put milk into my cup of joe. I like to drink it black. Although, uh, I must say that uh, I like the taste uh, of this ultra-filtered milk. I also like the chemistry behind it. 